Hi guys and welcome back to a brand new video. Hello. So this is part two of our Disneyland Paris hidden gems because everyone really enjoyed the first one. Yeah, he seems to like find out about some of these hidden gems and though you'd heard about some of them, there was like a couple maybe that you hadn't heard of. Yeah. So we enjoyed like giving you some ideas of what you can look forward to looking at when you next go to Disneyland Paris. But there are a few that we missed off that list, so we wanted to do another. We managed to come up with another 10 yeah. to share with you today. I mean, there are, there, there are loads of different things yeah. going on there. So yeah, <laughs> we were able to put together another video. Um, just a quick mention, if you can hear any sort of extraneous sounds, that's, that's a good a, word. That's a good word. That. I knew you were going to say that. A lot that. of points for that in Scrabble. Um, if, you, if you do hear any other noise, it's because uh, they're actually outside cleaning the street. Yeah. Um, so that's what you'll be able to hear. But yeah, should we start? Let's start. So our first hidden gem is the Wild West Walkthrough yes. in Frontierland. And what's the official name, you know? Yeehaw! It's not called that. <laughs> it's called Legends of the Wild West. And it's one of my personal favourite things to do. Uh, my dad is a big like Western fan. When we were growing up, uh, I remember watching Westerns with him all the time. And so it's sort of ingrained in my, in my head. And just being able to walk around and see the cowboys and stuff like that. Maybe that's another reason why Frontierland is one of my favourite things. <laughs> um, but yeah, you can walk around this walkway and it has all these mannequins placed around yeah. and little plaques as well next to them. So like there's one of Buffalo Bill. Yeah, there's loads. Uh, David, David Crockett. Crockett. He's, he's there as well. Um, yeah, this, and you get a really nice view up the top, don't you? Yeah, you can get a really good selfie of yourselves and the um, Big, Big Thunder Mountain in the yeah. background. Mm -hmm. um, but it's a really good walkthrough. It's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be, and there's so many different things to look at. Yeah. And if you've got a spare 10 minutes or five minutes, it's really good to just have a little wander around. Yeah, and it's never really been that busy when no, I've been, maybe been. like a handful of people going around it, but because you just walk straight into Frontierland yeah. through like the, the wooden archway. People just keep on walking. They don't really, if you don't look straight it. over to the left-hand side, the stairs mm. that lead up, and then if you're gonna go to the loos that are on the right-hand side, there's another set of stairs. stairs. And so the next one is, this is located in Discoveryland, and it's Wally and Eva. <laughs> <laughs> So basically, they're big statues of Wally and Eva, and they're right by Star Tours. I think that's the best way to describe it. Yeah, so like, walking towards. yeah, on your way to Star Tours. And they're just something which, they're not really hidden, but it's something that you probably just might walk past and not really like look at closely. But mm -hmm. the detail in them is amazing, and it's really nice. It's a really good photo opportunity as well, if you want to get a photo of them. I actually thought this, we didn't include it on our top Instagram spots, but yeah, I think it's, it's a really good one to get. Mm. So next on our list is Aladdin's Enchanted Passage, and this is right outside of Agrabah's Cafe. I think it's yeah. next to a shop as well. Yeah, it's opposite Agrabah's Cafe, mm. and then next to a shop, yeah. Yeah, and as you walk through, it tells the story of Aladdin, but with all these like little models. Yeah. And it's just a really nice way to spend like 10 minutes of your day. It's inside as well, so if you want to run from a rain or sun or whatever, yeah. it's a good little uh, breather. But I like it, it's really cute. <laughs> and then what you can also do, because they're not making any sounds, but they're of the scenes. So, you know, if you want, you can reenact the scene while you're looking at them. Well, that's just what Martin does. <laughs> <laughs> but I remember there were some really good ones um, yeah. near the end as well. Jafar, when he's, he's yeah. being pulled into the lamp. But we didn't do it on our last couple of trips, so I'd like to go back, actually, and have another little look. I think I it's been there for quite a while, so it's it's got that kind of nostalgic feeling to it. Yeah. Um, but it's really nice and I think it'd be really nice if you had children as well because you could go through the story of Aladdin yeah. and um, they can like visually and see it's it. And it's just a walk through thing. It's not a, you don't queue up to go inside, yeah. it's a walk through thing. Really busy the times that we went. Um, I just think most people just walk past it and it doesn't come up on like your apps because it? it's not a ride. Um, some people might just not know it's there. Hmm? Next on our list, it doesn't actually have an official name <laughs> because it is a route that we just tend to use these days to avoid crowds. Yes. Uh, so it's called, we've called it, our sneaky corridor <laughs> to Frontierland. <laughs> 
So this sneaky corridor is, as you're walking into the park, if you go down the Liberty Arcade on your left, mm -hmm. as you get to the end, instead of walking out into the open air, turn left again and there's a little corridor, it's quite dark, yeah. um, that takes you straight into Frontierland and it's never busy. So if um, you want to avoid crowds. And what I love about that corridor is that it has posters yeah. of all different rides. And they're like vintage looking posters yeah. and we always say like we really want one for our house. Well, yeah, I mean, that line of posters looks like how I'd want our hallway to look. Yeah, that would be really good. It's got, like, Haunted Mansion and a few... Oh, not Haunted Mansion. Oh, oh no, I That's I always the... do it. <sighs> Sorry, forgive me. It has Phantom Manor and uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, I think. I can't, I can't uh, remember now. Thunder Mountain's definitely on there. Yeah, but they're really cool. And also, it's just a really good route because you miss all the crowds. Also, we have seen a Donald meet and greet happening there. We have, yeah. And it was it didn't have a queue at all. So we don't know if it's an official meet and greet, mm. but we've definitely seen a character there. Yeah. I don't know if they go there if it's raining. I'm not sure. Yeah, and um, this route brings you out near the Lucky Nugget Saloon. Yes. Um, but I think people have also told me that this route goes off in a different direction as well, but we haven't done that. So no. we are, we're not saying that in this one. But yeah, this takes us through to Frontierland. Frontierland. And we always use it now. Always, always. yeah. So next is a shop in Disney Village and it's the Disney Gallery. And if you've never been there before, it's a hidden gem in itself because it has so much amazing artwork and models. And the models are incredible. Like, the actual shop is a hidden gem, but on this list we put the huge model of the castle and it's at the back of the shop. Yeah. And it is incredible. It is absolutely huge and we just, we always watch it and we're like, oh. That would be lovely to have just in our, uh, Could you imagine? In our kitchen. You'd need a really, really <laughs> big house. And I have no idea how much it is. I don't even know if it's for sale. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if that one's for sale. Yeah. Um, but you, you can get some very interesting things from there. I remember when we went in there once, there was a, a Mickey and he was, he was so tall. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like a big thing that you could buy. Just it's pop them insane. in your house somewhere. So yeah, if you haven't popped into the Disney Gallery, definitely go have a look and you'll see so many hidden gems. Yeah. But in particular, the huge Disneyland Paris castle. Incredible. Another hidden gem. Uh, I say a hidden gem. I mean, it's quite obvious if you walk into the actual building, but you've got to go into the building first. Yeah. So I suppose it is hidden. Um, it's the art class. So it now takes place in the building that's called Animation Celebration. Yes. Um, so that's the building that you go and watch the Frozen musical invitation show. Um, but if you go to the right a bit further along and then in the door, so you don't actually have to go and see that show to go in the building. If you go in the building through the door a little bit further along, then you can do some meet and greets there, I believe, as well. Yeah, I think so. But on your right-hand side, yeah, you can take part in the art class where they give you instructions as to how to draw a certain character. Oh, different characters as well. Um, yeah. So we've drawn Mickey and... You, 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 you say I drew Mickey. I, <laughs> I drew, like, Mickey's distant cousin from a parallel universe. Um, <laughs> you'll know about that if you've watched the vlogs. Uh, Mickey, and who else? Oh, Goofy, of course, we drew Goofy. Yeah, but we've seen people, uh, David, Jess and Tom, I think they did Mushu. Yeah. So they, they do a large selection of, of characters. And I think a lot of people don't know about it because we thought it had closed. Like, mm. we didn't actually realise it was still going on. Yeah. So I think a lot of people still don't realise that you can actually take part in it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, definitely give the art class a go. It's a lot of fun. Really good way to spend your time, I think. So next is the game that you can play whilst you're queuing for Crush's Coaster. So as you enter the queue for Crush's Coaster, there's a little sign and it tells you to um, put into your phone a certain web address, I believe. Yes, it does. And it takes you to a game and you can only play that game in the area of the queue mm -hmm. outside. Um, but if you are queuing for Crush's Coaster, because it is one of those rides where you can't get a fast pass for, it's just something to take your mind off the queue. It's, it's fun. There's like different levels and different games. Yeah. And it just, it does pass the time. And use we, your, we tend to play it. Use your finger to move crush. Yeah. From right to left, up and down. 
and like you're trying to collect coins I think and trying to avoid objects and you can have a little competition yeah. if you're of with course. someone else to see <laughs> get the highest I think I won <laughs> <laughs> I think you did um, but it's a good little added extra if you are bored in the queue um, and even though there are signs some people might not be aware that yeah because you if you're rushing in and you don't pay attention to that sign you've missed yeah. it and you can only play it outside once you get inside um, the game ends yeah so make sure that you play it in the outside part so next on our list is something again that you can walk around and it's the Nautilus now I don't think some people realise that you can actually go inside of it yeah I think when you're walking around the park I think when we first went we, we just realize. thought it was it was the Nautilus outside yeah and we thought it was just a decoration we didn't realise that you could actually go in and have a wander around and it's a bit like a fictional museum <laughs> type thing based I believe on the 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea movie Which we've that seen. Disney <laughs> Disney did and is actually on Disney Plus and I, I really want to watch it actually it, then. yeah um, but it's just it's really eerie mm. so it can be a little bit scary I think yeah if you if have you're younger. very young children um, they play noises of like if you're under the water in a submarine and we won't give it away but there's a really great bit um, yeah that happens something comes out at you which yeah. is really good yeah if you see a window if you see a part of the submarine where a window opens just stay by that window yes um, but there's always a little bit to like look around again it's undercover so if you want to hide from the rain yeah. it's a good one to jump into and yeah again it's not been busy when we've been there no so I think it is a pretty good hidden gem. I like it. Next on our list is, well, it's to do with one of our favourite rides and one of your favourite rides now. Hang on, shall we see if we can guess from this? Right, let's get ready. <laughs> I wondered what you were going to do. I was like, oh. <laughs> We hadn't planned that. <laughs> um, Tower of Terror. So this is actually a photo opportunity which we always try and get. Mm. So when you're um, outside a Tower of Terror, there's, is it a fountain outside? No. Yeah. Yes, I don't think is. it works though, does it? Um, it's all like done up so it's really old. Mm -hmm. But basically there's a sign that reads the Hollywood Tower Hotel. But then if you wait and watch it, it changes and it flickers yeah. and you see Tower of Terror come up over it. Mm -hmm. And it's just like a really nice little added detail, um, which is like a nod to the ride and but again, what's if, about to happen to you. If you don't stand there for a little bit, yeah. you don't see it. And we always try and get a photo when it flickers. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it's just a nice little hidden gem that you might have walked past and not really noticed. Mm -hmm. Just the amount of detail in everything at Disneyland Paris is so good. Oh yeah, well they just, you see that from the Imagineering story on yeah. Disney Plus, they just think about absolutely everything. I bet there's so many more which we haven't even discovered yet. Yeah, there are actually. There are little things that I've spotted on that might include in a different video, Ooh, another video. Do you think we've got enough for another I video? I think so, there's all with that. I think there's <laughs> going to be enough for another video at some point. <laughs> right, so we're on to our last one. And the final one is... This makes me a bit emotional though, because this is where we always oh. try and meet Sully. And it never happens. <laughs> we, 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 we tried so hard to meet Sully on one of our trips, and we even got a notification from somebody on Instagram telling us that he was in the parks. So we ran from the hotel yes. all the way to the park, and he'd gone. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, this takes place in like the little Monsters Inc. area, which is really good for getting photos. Really good. Nice Instagram spots. Uh, but there are these things that you can interact with. Scream canisters. Yeah. So basically you <laughs> scream into them and they um, score your scream, essentially. Yeah. Based on the film, because obviously that was how they, they used to energy, get their energy yeah. before they uh, moved on. <laughs> but it's a lovely little added extra and it's funny to watch, actually. It's funny to watch people like scream into yeah. it. But We've also, never actually done it, though. If you don't realise that's there, like I have before... You're really confused. confused as to why people are screaming. <laughs> yeah. It's a bit scary, actually. <laughs> but yeah, give it a go. We haven't given it a go yet. No, so we've maybe... only ever watched people do it, but we, I do want to try I it I do out. get a bit... I think I'd probably get a little bit self-conscious like, about ah. being too loud. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I bet there's some people that, like, proper go for it. Like, blood-curdling scream. But again, it's it's an, just an area that, even though there's no characters there, is still worth looking at. Yeah, definitely. And it's hidden because it's like around the corner. Yeah. Um, you might not notice it's there. Just as you come out of the area where like the restaurant and the shops are, turn right all the way around the corner. There, there it, it is. is. 
So that is another 10 hidden gems at Disneyland Paris. Let us know in the comments if there was any there which you didn't know about mm -hmm. or any which you haven't done and that you want to do on your next trip. And then, yeah, we might think about doing a third video if we can think of 10 more. I think this is just going to be an ongoing <laughs> thing, yeah, because I think we're, we're going to find new yeah. things over, over the... the coming years and stuff so yeah i think this will just be a thing that crops up every now and then we'll also try and think of some that we can maybe put from walt disney world yeah especially after our next trip mm. but thanks so much for watching guys and we will see you in our next video bye toodle pipsky oh no